So let's turn to a pattern language and revisit the original conception of patterns. So Alexander and his colleagues describe patterns as this three-part rule, expressing a relation between a context, a problem, and a solution. Very simple. The context representing the situation in which a particular architectural problem occurs. The problem, which they described as an unbalanced system of forces that occur repeatedly in that context. And we can think of these forces as independent vectors having direction and magnitude. And I'm immediately taken back to high school physics. And we have this problem where we have a system of forces and we have to find the magnitude of the missing force. And every time my teacher would work one of those problems, he would repeat the same phrase, the sum of the forces has to equal zero. And that turns out to be our goal in the pattern is that we want to apply a solution that brings the forces back into balance. We want the sum of the problem and the solution to equal zero. And so the solution ends up being represented by a pattern which brings the context back into balance. 